Okay, so this is pretty random, but I'm here in a Dick Sporting Goods looking at discount clothing. I pulled a pair of pants out that I thought was cute, but I looked at the bottom and I just cuffs on the bottom and I immediately felt like, oh, I can't wear those because like they always hurt my ankle so much, like any pressure on it was super uncomfortable. And then I realized like that's not a problem anymore. Um, it's cool to have another moment of like, oh, this is why I did that. Like I could totally buy these now and they wouldn't hurt. That's really cool. Well, good morning, beautiful friends. We are on our way up to Denver for my first, I mean, I guess second, but first really amputee specific event. April, little did I know a year ago, is Limb Loss Awareness Month. And so up in Denver, the Amputee Coalition is hosting a Limb Loss Awareness event. It's going for a few hours and we're gonna go check out what they're doing and bring you guys along with us. Absolutely cutting edge, riveting content. <laughs> Did you just say that they're gonna have a one-legged crawl race? You're a sick person, why would you say that? Oh my god, Brian! <laughs> For the record, I'd win, but that's beside the point. Just saying. <laughs> we made it safely up to Denver. Go learn about some amputee things. <laughs> healthy living and good nutrition. Sounds good. I wonder if nutrition for amputees is any different than like nutrition for just humans. We're about to find out. We just hit the halfway mark and I am tapping out. Also, excuse all the crap in my back seat. That those are actually blankets from when I was coming home from surgery. That's how quickly I clean out my car. It's pretty bad. It was really cool to go and hear some of the speakers, get some more information, resources, see a lot of amputees and meet them. And then I just got super, super overwhelmed. Amputee Coalition of America, I believe is their official name, is incredible. They do really, really cool work. And I think one of the coolest things I learned today about is about becoming, I think it's a peer counselor, where essentially if someone has recently gone through an amputation, generally like a traumatic amputation where they wake up without a limb, you can be on call for that and you can go meet them and go talk with them. And I would really love to do that. Like, I think that would be really cool because I had someone there for me to help me walk through the process and it made all the difference in the world. And um, you have to be an amputee for at least a year. So I've got another six months to go, but that's something I would definitely like to go through the training for. So that was really cool to learn about. Side note, these shirts came today. They are not for sale. I just made one for Brian and I, just kind of for fun or like if we're going to events or, or things like that. But uh, I'm a nerd and I think they kind of turned out fun. Plus who isn't excited when more sweatshirts arrive? It's kind of strange to me how I'm going through this because in previous like big, big deal things that I've gone through, I've really wanted to talk to other people who were in the midst of it, like who were going through it. And not the more the merrier, but like usually it's hard to find someone who really understands what you're going through. Like when I went through two house fires, which I will talk about in the near future, it was important to talk to people who were also dealing with their house having burnt down and losing literally everything they owned like that. And when I went through everything I went through with like domestic violence and sexual assault, talking to people who were survivors of that was insanely important to healing. And like those conversations were like life to me. Like I needed to talk to people who, who got it but that is just not the case with this. I'm at an event surrounded by a lot of people who are going through similar things or who have gone through similar things or might have wisdom to impart and I have no desire to actually engage in a uh, deep conversation and uh, you know what, that's just where I am right now. And that's but I think that's part of learning too. You know, everyone goes through things differently, even ourselves at different stages in our lives. And I think that that is probably something that's important to remember um, if you're a peer counselor, like if I went into that, which I think would be cool to do. I think I'm definitely gonna pursue that. It was really cool to be able to go to this event and I'm really glad that we did. And yeah, it was a morning well spent, but I am I am super overwhelmed and ready to be done with this day. So we are heading home and I am probably gonna take a nap because naps are the best. I don't know why we all hated them as kids. Like, did you hate naps as a kid? Like, it was like a punishment to have to take a nap. 
and now it is like the best feeling in the world. All right, so a couple videos ago, I modified my iWalk and I uh, wasn't sure if it would actually make that much of a difference to have like the shorter platform. It does, like it really makes a difference at home. So I'm gonna give it a shot in Le Target, Target and uh, see how it goes. I've got to pick up a present for a party and um, some gum, because I, I obsessively chew gum. We'll see how it goes. Just a thought, maybe don't put carts in handicapped parking spots. Note to self, I should have gone to the Target I know the layout of from my pipe just walk from one side of the store to the other. It's a good workout, but uh... <sighs> that was so much better with the new eye, well, not the new eye walk, with, uh, with it modified. It actually really helped. It's still really sore after surgery, but um, it's like just post-surgery pain. It doesn't hurt like it did before, even. So, success! Could it be the morning of the spring?